Hello, in this video we're going to show you how easy it is to set up the EchoDroid Link Bluetooth access point. When you purchase an EchoDroid Link Bluetooth access point set, you'll get three things. The Bluetooth access point itself, which has uh, the Ethernet port right here, the Bluetooth dongle, and the power supply port right there quite hard to see under this flash but uh, you'll get the idea so we'll have this access point we have the cable connector which will connect the access point to your wireless uh, Wi-Fi router or it might be a normal ADSL modem fiber modem whatever right and the power supply so let's see how we set this thing up. It's fairly, fairly simple. We just connect the power supply and the Ethernet cable and then that's it. So let me show you how this is being done. Okay, so I have connected my Ethernet cable to the access point, the internet access point. It can be an ADSL or whatever which is your internet source which provides an Ethernet LAN connection. Just beware in some cases it would be written WAN, W-A-N, Wide Area Network, do not connect to that. Just connect to the LAN, L-A-N port. But this is fairly the uh, default port you would use when you're connecting your PC. All right. So that's it, just connect this to the Ethernet port in front of the access point and then connect the power cable which you have plugged already plugged to the grid to the power port okay you can see it light up right now what you're gonna do is that you need to I'm not uh, let us okay you can see it blinking right now you need to wait until you see the blue light blinking here at the Bluetooth dongle which is already blinking right now. It takes only about less than 10 seconds to start. So this means we're good to go. The access point is ready. Okay, so here we have a Samsung S6. I'm sure there are so many other models that can work with the Bluetooth access point, but here we're just uh, showing you with the latest phone. So I've already entered airplane mode. You can see the icon here is showing the airplane. And then let's see how we connect to the Bluetooth access point for internet. So we can go to settings, you can uh, go either by the settings here or simply through the menu. Okay, just let's go the easier path which is the menu, go to the settings app. Okay, it's too, too bright. Okay, we go to Bluetooth. And then as you can see now, Bluetooth is uh, off. Right, we just turn on the Bluetooth. Okay, wait for it to scan just a few seconds for the Echo Droid link. If it's not scanning, you, your Bluetooth is already on, you can press scan anytime from the button here. So you see, there's scan and stop. So we just press scan again. And then just a few seconds you would see Echo Droid Link showing up here. Just click on that. It would ask to confirm the pairing request. Just press OK. We are paired and ready to go. Just click on the icon which is showing. You can see it's like a like a Bluetooth with a some Wi-Fi like icon showing to the side. Just press press on it and it would connect to it. Okay connected to access internet connection so let's see if we have internet right now you can just note that it's still in airplane mode that means we are not using Wi-Fi we are not there's no Wi-Fi icon and we are not using the mobile internet connection so let's open Wikipedia okay it's loading so let's see what else? Suppose we search for Bluetooth.
Okay, yeah. It's showing right now. I don't want to translate this page. Okay, let's change to English. Okay, there's a Bluetooth uh, results. Let's go to Bluetooth on Wikipedia. Everything's working quite fine. Let's do a YouTube test. Let's open some classic Mercedes uh, 300D videos, my favorite. Okay, auto test. You can see uh, internet is working quite fine without a problem. So just want to tell you that why we have to do all of this. There are quite a few reasons, but the main thing is that Bluetooth uses so much less energy when compared to Wi-Fi or mobile internet. So with less energy, you, would, you can save more battery on the phone. And all, also there's less radiation coming from the phone when you're using another, when using a lower power internet uh, wireless technology. Right, so that's one reason. And another reason is that sometimes the Wi-Fi connection is too uh, saturated in your area. So in many cases, uh, people would want to try an alternate route to the internet. So that's it. Um, please uh, give it a try. Visit us at worldwideweb.clearevo.com and have a great day. Thanks. Mm -hmm.